And Nick D'Agostino, talk us through how you feel to have secured a ticket to Tokyo. Ah, uh, unbelievable. Um, it's been a very, very long time coming um, since uh, I think it was January last year. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's been a long road, um, a lot of hard work, a lot of preparation, getting the mind and the body right. Um, but no, I'm just finally glad it's here and that I've, I've earned a spot. Um, and now I just want to get over there and get started as soon as possible. Can you talk us through how you found out about your selection? Uh, well, I went to a tournament uh, in Marbella in Spain with a couple of the European players um, and a couple from the A-League. Um, I was just trying to get some minutes there and obviously get some good performances and get some game time. So, um, and then I came over, came over to Dubai here and um, yeah, just been training here uh, with Clarkie and yeah, we got got told uh, today that uh, yeah that we were getting selected. So, uh, very very proud and very honoured to be selected to go to the Olympics. What do you think your family is going to uh, feel and think when you tell them that you've made the squad? They're just going to be so proud. Um, you know, it's like I said before, it's been a long time coming. Um, they already they booked tickets to go to Tokyo last year, so um, they always had the back of the mind that they had the belief in me that I'd I'd make the squad. So unfortunately, they can't come to Tokyo this time around. Um, but no, they're very very happy and very, they'll be very proud. So. Yeah, I just uh, can't wait to come out to tell them. What, when you think of the Olympic Games, uh, what does it mean to to Nick D'Agostino? Oh, just so many world class athletes and from all around the world um, competing at the very highest level uh, in their respected sports, um, and just doing doing their country proud, doing their family proud, and doing themselves proud. Um, and that's the main thing. I just want to go go over there and put some good performances in and make my family and country and myself proud. Do you have any um, memories of athletes or moments or teams uh, that have been in the Olympics as you've watched down the years? Um, a few come to mind. Um, not so much football, to be honest. Um, obviously, Usain Bolt, um, you know, Sally Pearson. Um, we've got Jamaican bobsled team, for example. You know, just these, um, just these sort of smaller nations that go and give it their all and put on a show for the world and show the world what they're capable of. And I think uh, that's what we want to set out to achieve over there. We want to go show the world that Australia can play football. The head coach of the squad, Graham Arnold, a former striker, played in the Olympic Games. He's been to three Olympic Games. This will be his fourth. It must um, must be a great person to really bounce off over these next couple of weeks as you, as you prepare. Yeah, of course. Um, there's no one better, I'd say. Um, he's been immense for me. Uh, in my, my short career so far. Um, we've got a great relationship and he has a lot of belief in me to go out there and do a job for the national team. So I can't ask any more of him. Um, and uh, I just want put to that, put that uh, belief and trust back into him that he's put into me. So I want to go out there and do my job and score goals for my country. Full group will be together in Japan at the end of uh, the week. So. Uh, how excited are you to, to connect with these players? Many that I'm sure you've you know played with and against, but also some that you might be meeting for the first time. Yeah, of course. Um, you know there might be a few, a few new faces, but uh, now I'm looking forward to meet, getting around the boys and meeting all of them. If I haven't met them before, and yeah, if I have met them, uh, I'm pretty sure I know I'd know quite a few of them. Um, yeah, like you said, played with and against. So now it'll be great. I'm just I uh, can't wait to get in, in and amongst the boys and uh, get some of the banner going again. Talk us through uh, your thoughts on the group, uh, Argentina, Spain and Egypt, and Arnie's labelled it as the group of dreams. Would you agree with that? 100%. You know, when you go to these big, big tournaments as, as a nation, you want to play the best teams. Um, and I think that's what we've got. I think there's going to be a lot of high profile players there as well. So I'm really looking forward to that. Um, obviously, yeah, like I said, you want to play against the best. So we're going there and we want to play against the best, but we also want to beat the best. And that's our goal. We want to win games. So that's our goal over there. Australia's squad uh, soon to be announced, but uh, once that's out, are you going to be keeping an eye on uh, the, the other team lists as the, the nations name their teams? Yeah, of course. Like I just said, there's going to be, I think, a few high profile players going. Um, so, yeah, you always want to see who you're up against and what team and w which country they're playing. So, now it'll be very interesting. But, you know, like I said, we, I, we've got a very good squad and we want to go over there and win games and get as many points and get out of that group.
it was your goal that sealed uh, Australia a place at this Olympic Games back, way back in uh, January of 2020 um, in, against Uzbekistan. Uh, what are your recollections of that night? Oh, I don't even think words can describe that feeling, to be honest. Um, just incredible. You know, I, I've watched that, watched that goal and watched that game so many times back and just to relive it is every single time is unreal. You know, the feeling never dies and it always, it always creates that little buzz inside you that you just want to go out and play and do that again. And yeah, just, um, just the memory of all the boys dancing around my jersey in the change room afterwards. Um, had my jersey on the ground and they were all dancing around and chanting around and after it. And yeah, it's just feelings and memories that I'll never forget, that's for sure. The Aussie flag was there and uh, a lot of high fives and the, the change room was really going off that night, wasn't it? Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, it was just an incredible feeling. You know, it's been been a long time since we qualified for the Olympic Games and just the feeling of, I think, the belief that we had in each other and, and the staff and the staff putting us and just the camaraderie that we had together was just so strong and we thought we could overcome anything and yeah, we finally got there and yeah, we're just so proud of each other and ourselves.